Yo, what is going on guys, your killer place here, back with another video, I know, been a while, um, I'm gonna get straight into the video, uh, but before I do, I wanna say, I am not a guru at Storm, like, I'm not some guru god, but this, I do think I'm well beyond the point of noob, or, or bot, or whatever term you wanna use for beginner, um, the first thing that I think people... I'm trying to find a, where, the, oh, I'm going the wrong way. I think the first thing, the problem that people have when they're playing Storm as a beginner is your substitutions. And uh, I'm going to cut right to, you know, training. Okay, so you see the team right here. We got, uh, actually for the purpose of this video... Let's go ahead and make support gauge, storm gauge, yeah, unlimited. Okay, so you see we got Hanabi, um, sp uh, adult Sasuke, and adult Naruto. Um, this team, I use this team because I think those not that Naruto support and that uh, Hanabi is like very good support. But anyway, um, substitutions. Uh, I think that's very like one of the key problems that I see when I'm playing like a beginner, like a rank one or some shit like that. Like, let me put them opponent control average, right? So if this is you, every time you get hit, you feel, you feel as if though you need to use your subs. You know what I mean? Like, every time you get touched, you, you feel like you need to use your fucking, what's the name? Right, so let me show you what, what I see a lot, most of the time. So you see stuff like this, like, or you see stuff like this every time... Every time they realize that they're getting hit, they feel like, oh, I need to use my subs. So, look. Look how much subs I have, right? And how much uh, how much subs I have and how much damage he's done to me. This is a problem. You should not be in a position where you have literal no subs left and he hasn't even taken half of your green bar. It's not like you guys, you guys got to stop doing that. It's, it's bad. It's terrible. Just, you're fine. Just because you're getting hit a few times does not mean it is the end of the world. It, it's seriously not that big of a deal. You can take a few punches. But um, another thing, like, you guys are too predictable. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm, if I'm playing my opponent, right, and I, I feel like I know when they're going to sub... Well, this is a computer. They're not going to sub that easily. They're not. But uh, most of the time, the second you play a, a beginner, they're going to sub the second they feel like they're being attacked, which happens a lot. So it, you just start you start punching them. They've already subbed. You talk about, you, they've already subbed. It's like the second they realize, it, and it becomes easy to read. You know what I mean? So now you have no subs. And like I said, look at his health. You've, you've done no damage. You've done nothing. You know, a uh, uh, ultimate could do that. Like, let me. I think I'm pretty sure. Uh, ultimate would get that same amount of damage. I'm not sure though, because he still has all of his armor. But I just want to see. You know. Um. But I could, while that's going, I can start talking about my next topic. Um. Uh, along with watching your subs, and and not being so like, look, you did the same. Like, well, you did a little bit more. I'm not gonna lie, but. You got to stop being predictable and really need to watch your subs. I know I'm talking about subs a lot, but it's, it's like it's, it's key here. You know, he who has subs has power. If you need to be watching your subs at all times, like you need to make sure you know how much you have. You need to make sure you know how much your opponent has, because if you do not know these things, you're going to have to force yourself to look down and, and, and look back at how much they have. It's, it's just not it's not something you want to do, you know. You, you need to make sure you need to have a mental note. But let's say, because this happened to me when I used to be a beginner player. Let's say you don't have, uh, you can't, you know, it's hard for you to keep up with the type of subs that you and your opponent have. Here's what you could do. If you find yourself in an animation, let's say you do a grab, and you don't remember how many subs you have. Look, while he's doing that grab, just look real quick. Just take a quick second. When he does a grab, you're, you're in an animation. No one can do anything during that animation. Just take a quick look. See how much you have, see how much he has. Or if you do a move like that, you know what I'm saying? And just take a quick look. Any chance you have to do to get your opponent off you and you have time to, like, you know, think or whatever it is, 
do take a look take a quick little look and see how much you have keep that you know keep to keep that mental note in your head right so you can always know because once you run out of subs or once you or your opponent run out of subs it's it's over at that point well it's not over i'm not gonna say it's over but you could you know it the things you could do is it's pretty much wraps at that point you know what i mean but that's that's once you get that you know the sub thing out of you know out of your head where you just feel like you need to sub every two seconds you don't so the next thing because i have i've never done a video like this i have this stuff all on it like a memo pad i'm trying to remember everything um you guys need to practice the 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 ground and air recoveries like you know like the rolls like this let me show you stuff like that when you get hit up into the air you need you need to practice how to like you know recover from that and literally all you do what i do i just spam the a button because that's how you recover from it but you know with delay and stuff like that you want to make sure you're you know it's registering so you gotta you gotta press that button okay i timed i, I messed up the time but if you're if your opponent knows what he's doing and stuff oh i didn't mean to do that I didn't mean to do it three times, but my point is, if your opponent knows how to like stuff like that, you know what I mean. If he if he knows how to do the timing and everything like that, if you don't recover from that, you're gonna be forced to use a sub, right? That's or you could take the hit. I wouldn't take the hit. I'd probably be using my sub unless I just don't have any subs and I don't, you know, if I got like one sub, I might take the hit. But you know, you want to. You just double tap A as soon as you get hit into the air. As soon as you get into there, just spam A, and then he'll recover from it. Or if your opponent, like, if if you want to roll out of something, right? Because if you don't roll, as soon as you get up, so, okay, he rolled. That's what you need to be doing. Because if you don't roll, it's, it's punish every time. Every time. Every time you get up, I'm doing that. Because if you don't, guess what? I'm subbing. Well, if you don't do it, you're going to have to sub. You know what I mean? So you need to be doing this every time. Because, you know, I, t I messed up the time in there. But you get the point. You need to you need to be rolling. Now, all you have to do to roll, if, like, I'm going to show you guys. Um, if you don't know how to roll, mind you, this is for beginners. So all you do to roll is just move your stick in a direction and he'll roll. You know what I'm saying? Just move it in a direction any direction he'll roll out of the way that's all you need to do and if you guys need to remember certain parts of the video you can just go back um what's next oh this is one of my personal you know you don't have to do this but i like to do it if my opponent if i notice he's getting his subs back right this is something i'm gonna do I'm going to force a sub. It's many ways you could force a sub, but the best way to do it is an ultimate because no sane storm player is just going to take an ultimate. No one's going to do that. So if I see your stuff starting to fill back up, I'm going to force you to I'm going to use an ultimate and I'm going to force you to get hit or you know cuz I'm going to win either way. Either you use your sub and your meter stops filling up or you could take this ultimate. Either way, I win. You know what I mean? Not literally win, but you know it's a win-win situation so let's say well based off that scenario right there um here's something i would do okay if you were in a position that i'm in where you have subs and your opponent doesn't or just yeah yeah, yeah actually yeah if you're in a position where you have subs and your opponent doesn't right what you do is what i would do i would let them hit me why because if they if they don't if they how do I want to word this if they're hitting you right and they have no subs this is all you do this is literally all you do I'm gonna show you that's free hit that's free hit right there now listen the reason this is such a good thing to like uh not necessarily a never fail technique but, like, the reason it's so useful and, and kind of unpredictable is because there's, like, a, a couple of factors you need to factor in. One, your opponent's reaction time. 
there most people try to guess when you're gonna sub right most people try to guess and then they'll like as they're punching you they're like oh i think he's about to sub let me chalk a dash right they try to guess when you're gonna sub right after they right after they do a chakra dash that's when you need to be subbing because you cannot do a chakra dash in succession like right after the other you have to it's like a, a split second you know what i mean so if i'm chakra dashing at you i can't do it again you see how, how i reactivated my chakra see you can't you can't re chakra dash like you can you can do it but not that quick so when my opponent is trying to guess when i'm gonna do it right after i chakra dash again Right after my opponent chakra dashes me again, that's when I'm subbing and I'm using my ultimate because the reaction time is not going to be quick enough to, well, really they can't do anything because they just use the chakra dash. To, they don't have another one. They can't sub. They don't have any more. You know, the reaction time's off. Um, there's delay. Most games you play are going to be yellow bars. I It's rare that I get blue bars and I have great Wi-Fi, um, or at least I think so. Um reaction time uh just a player's skill in general there's a lot of factors that go into not being able to stop that so if your opponent has no no subs take the hit once they chakra dash you thinking they you know because now they're they're panicking you know i have no subs i don't know what to do they're gonna panic all you gotta do substitute hit that hit that free ultimate you know what i mean and i believe sasuke's can hit from like it's a sniper you know what i mean Okay, the aim looked kind of off, but it still hit. So, that's another thing you could do if you want to do that. Uh, if your opponents are, like, spam blocking, right? Here's my personal thing. I don't think there's a such thing as spam blocking in a fighting game. Like, if my back's against a corner, you know, people, it's storm. People are going to accuse you of doing anything. People are going to accuse you of literally anything in this game just to make yourself feel better. You find yourself in a situation, your opponent, you feel like your opponent's blocking too much. What I like to do, you apply the pressure, you know what I mean? Right? Just apply pressure, you know what I mean? Or what I, you know, what I do, which some people have problems with, I don't give a damn. I'm going to play how I play. You know, I have morals, you know, I have not, is that the right word? I don't even know if that's the right word, morals, but I have a code, a storm code that I live by, but that's not one of them. So you can apply pressure. You can do that. If they're block, if you feel like their opponent is blocking too much, apply pressure. And you know, when they think, you know, oh, he's just, I'm just wait for him to stop attack. Chakra dash. I mean, guard dash them or guard break, whatever it's called. And then do whatever you do. Now, one of my personal rules of Storm, don't ever do this shit. Don't ever do this. And I don't mean like tag attacks. I mean, in general, you should never just, you should never do that. That's, that's, that's like the scum, most scumbag shit you could ever do to me. My second would be awakening. I feel like people who awaken are scumbags. You're probably only awakening because you're getting your ass kicked in the first place. So, you know, just might as well take the L. But guard break them. You know what I mean? If they're just if they're just doing that all day, guard break them. It's you know, it's 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 a thing in the game. You can do it. People are gonna have a problem with it. But you know, not most people. Most people don't care. But, I mean, you're online gaming. You'd, it, you'd be pretty foolish to believe that no one's going to have a problem with something you do in the game. So, just keep that in mind. Which brings me to my next point. Practice follow-ups. You, you, you guys really should practice follow-ups. Because applying pressure to someone's guard forces them to either, A, get their guard broken. And if I break your... If I, let me show you. If I, well, I was trying to get an ultimate in with it, but if I break your guard legitimately by applying pressure to you, I am going to hit you with an ultimate attack because I earned that, you know, I actually earned that. But if I do this and then go like that, that's scumbag as fuck. No, you're not. No, hell no. But if I earned it, I'm going to do it. So that's why I think people should just apply pressure. Um... 
people that I use that are personally good with applying pressure are well, like you just saw, I could do it with this team. Um, I can show you another team real quick, real real quick. Okay, um, this team is not like a custom team that I use, and when I play, it's just I, this is people that I use for applying pressure. Um, most of the time, if you ever see me like streaming or whatever on Twitch. You'll notice that I have Hanabi on most of my teams, if not all. Um, that's because I truly do believe Hanabi is the best support in this game, and I can show you why. This ship right here, that already is just, you have so many possibilities with that. You could do this and then go into that, or you could do this and just start applying pressure. You know what I mean? Or sometimes... If you, um, anybody who knows about Hanabi support, you know her final hit has like a stun kind of thing to it. So if you use Hanabi, that last hit, you see that tumble right there? So much possibilities with that. You could do, oh wait, you could do that. Um, the more obvious that I'm sure everyone's thinking about is doing that and i didn't mean to do that I, obviously i meant to do an ultimate but you you get the point like you, there's it's hella possibilities with hanabi that's why i like using it but this sasuke can apply hella pressure this little that is damn near impossible you see what i mean like if you know how to do it it's that little thing right there is damn near. I'm not going to tell anybody how to do it. That's not what this video is about. But learning how to follow up is very... I didn't mean to do that. Hmm. But you get the picture. Didn't mean to do that either. But um, just learn how to apply pressure to the point where if your opponent does not sub... That guard has hit his ass. That's the guard is gone. Or I didn't mean to do that. You see what I mean? Like you I like this one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let this play out. But you just wanna learn how to apply pressure to the like where if they're guarding, they have two options before them. Let go of the guard and get your shit rocked. Or sub and give me the advantage. You know what I mean? You just wanna that's why you should just practice follow-ups. But like I said, I'm not going to tell anybody how to follow up. It's it's actually very easy, but I'm just I'm not going to get into that. Um what else do I have on here? Uh stop doing obvious moves that'll get you punished like seriously. And I'm going to show you one that I find to be the stupidest shit in the world, yet people still do it. I have to go to Hold on. Okay, stop using his ultimate. Stop spamming that shit. It does not help. Because this his ultimate is the most punishable shit that I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at this shit. For those who, you, you sh I'm sure everyone knows what it does, right? It's not, it's not good. Like, first off, he dashes towards you, right? And the dash, when he gets towards you, that's not... That doesn't initiate contact. It doesn't. So if I time it right, I could punch you and you'd, you'd be done. But no one ever times it. No one. Why would you even risk trying to time it? What you normally would do was once he rushes you and uses that, he's like completely still for like two seconds. Just once you block that first, that white ball. Once you block that white ball, bro, just start hitting him. It, it's... It's not touching the white ball that initiates the... Con it's that first thing once it awakens. You know what I mean? That's that first contact. After that, after you block that, you can just start punching him. Stop doing that. I see. And people love Shisui. They really do. I get why. He's dope as fuck. But stop using... Stop spamming his ultimate. It's not helping you. And that goes for any other person who has a, a punishable ultimate. You just That's why I like Sasuke. Sasuke does his shit from afar. So even if I do fuck up, you know... And it has like invincibility frames, low key. Like that for like you can't touch him while he's doing that. While he has the Susano up and he's doing the thing, you can't touch Sasuke. You can't. So just 
if you're gonna like i don't get why but i see people they'll just they'll just start spamming ultimates not necessarily ones like these where you have to be near the person but like they'll spam it from like afar and just assume it'll hit i don't know maybe you're trying to break my guard or something but that's not gonna happen if you're not applying any pressure you know just just stop it's not helping you um another thing that i don't get why people do stop using people who have susanos or just big awakenings in general you would use smaller people because they get that you know what i mean they have smaller people have a way smaller hitbox big people like these even though it looks cool as fuck and it's spammy as hell and it's powerful as a motherfucker all that stuff is cool but your hitbox is crazy as hell stop i can't count the number of the the number of times that i've just taken people out of their awakenings because they i've used my ultimate on you while you were you know uh trying to I don't know, hit me or something. Like, let me let me show you something. So in this clip, the kid calls me a hacker, right? Because I was hit up, like I was fucking his Sasuke up. His Susanoo is getting put in a body bag, right? Just watch. I'm just hitting the toes, 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 and he's like, "You're you're getting fucked up. Stop doing that. Why would you do that?" And he texts me. He's like, "Hacker." I'm like care what are you talking about you know what i mean like the hitbox is crazy you just don't want to do that and the only reason i clipped it like well storm will clip stuff after you uh finish a match anyway but like the only reason i clipped it was because he called me a hacker i'm like okay i definitely need proof but you don't want to do stuff like that and it makes it really easy to hit you with an ultimate because it's you just stop doing the big the big transformations unless you're going to spam from afar because that works, especially with Shisui. Shisui is spammy as fuck. Like, you could just do that shit all day. And no one would say shit. Well, they would. You guys just practice and, you know, make sure you're not... Like I said, don't don't be so obvious with your attacks and your patterns and how you fight. You want to be... You want to be, like, in a, in a way... Just mix it up a little. Mix it up. And you'll be fine. Now, you're not going to beat every person, obviously. Of course, it's not going to happen. But, you'll... It'll it'll be better for you if you just mix up your combos, your attacks, you know. There are other things you could do to, like, make yourself a bit more unpredictable. But I'm not getting into that because... At the end of the day, you guys still are my opponents. I'm not going to just tell you everything. But this is to help beginners and stuff like that. So, if you, you know, pretty much that's pretty much it. Um, If you guys want to see me play Storm, I guess you can follow me on Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Playzo2. Link in the description. Um, I really don't care if many, but I'm not going to do the whole, oh, like, share, subscribe. I really don't care. Um... I, I'm a. I, I like to stream, not make YouTube videos. But uh, I appreciate anybody who was watching this. And uh, yeah, you could. I don't know. <laughs> Peace.